Hi, thank you for clicking on my video. I am Beth Ann of Beth Ann Stamps. And this week, um, we are looking at In The Moment stamp set. And I am going back to this Hostess Reward of the Design A Daydream paper. I am just in love with this paper. Um, so many possibilities. Some beautiful colors in it. And so we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do some coloring today playing with these. I just think this Design a Daydream paper um, can be used for just about anything. And I just wanted to make sure that you're aware because it is a hostess set, doesn't mean that you have to have a party. If you would like to do something like that and do it online or in person, reach out to me. But if you place an order and your order comes to $150 before taxes, you end up with 10% in Stampin' Rewards. So that's $15. You can use those stamp and reward points for any of the hostess gifts. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. So today we're going to play with some of these cards. And let's go. We're going to look at this first one. These are all the blends that I use today in coloring these. So all of my cards are cut at the five and a half by eight and a half scored at that four and a quarter. And we're gonna do some matching envelopes. So we'll bring in this one. I've already done the inside just with the standard four and a quarter by five and a half. And then of course cut part of that DSP to bring that continuity inside. So my first layer is basic white. And I will have the dimensions for these in the coordinating blog linked below. And then I pulled in this one with the birds because with this stamp, she's looking out. These look like seagulls to me, looking out for maybe a beach balcony. And so I decided to pull this one in. So this is that um, pool party. So we're going to put this down. Uh, all the papers are gorgeous in this. You can't go wrong with any one of them. So my paper's at eighth of an inch smaller. And then we have another one on here. Um, this paper is all from the same set. I think this is about two inches. Okay. So then I cut this out um, with the deckled um, rectangles. I am just in love with these and how they look when you cut with them. And I stamped the sentiment on the bottom. You're in my thoughts. And then we are going to color this one. But what I decided to do was to paper piece her dress. So to paper piece a dress, you literally just stamp it onto the paper that you want. And then you come in and you trim out. Now I did trim around her hair because I'm going to color. And I just right on the line, I didn't want to thin the line. I want my stamped line to show Go around here. And there we go. And then I will glue this down here when I am finished coloring her in. So let me try to zoom in a little here, see how it goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is petal pink and I have a light and a dark, make sure I'm grout, light and dark petal pink. That's going to be her hat. Just do some highlights with the dark and then do the light. That'll match that dress she's wearing. This is 07. These are the skin tones that came out a while back. So that's going to be what I'm going to use here. This is the seven. Now, 
Now, you can play with these. You can lighten them. You can blend them. Her wine, I'm going to do some Blackberry Bliss. Her hair, I'm just going to do um, some crumb cake. I'm just going to do the light crumb cake. Oop, looks like I got a uh, dark crumb cake. I meant to grab the light. It's all right. We'll see. Blend in. Now I am going to do the bottom down here, the deck rails and such with a little bit of dark first. And then come back in with the light. Pull the little one out. Yeah, blend those shadows in and then I did take some of the Blackberry Bliss and just do her band a little to bring in some extra color and then we're just going to glue her dress on so we don't have to color that and it's pretty colors here for the summer lined up. There you go. Let me zoom back out. Oh. Yep, I think we're good there. And then I am going to, let me put this down on my card base first. Now that this is done. I just think this is such a pretty set. And when I saw all these soft pastel colors and some fall colors in this hostess set, I thought, this is what I want to do with this. So we're going to find some dimensionals here and pop this up. And these colors go beautiful together. There's um, mint macaron, old olive, Blackberry, Bliss, Daffodil Delight, and then this pool party. So between the papers and the small amount. Okay. I'm just gonna put this on here. And then I do have some, of, I think they're called Elegant Faceted Gems. Let me double check that. Elegant Faceted Gems, yes. And they're in this pink color. So I'm just going to put a couple of these on here. Let me see if I can get a little one here. And then a couple on the top. Looking for another little one. I think I'm all out of lip ones. That's all right, we'll grab. There we go. And that's the first card. Um, we're gonna do the envelope. This envelope, um, this is cut six inches by two and a quarter inches. And when I do mine, I put the glue on the envelope itself to get close to those edges. And then I just lay this on top there. And there's not much left on the outside and simply trim around. So I like to do matching envelopes when I can. There are sometimes you know, we don't have the exact paper that we've used on the card because we've used it all on the card. And then you could stamp an image on it. 
but this one I thought it really pulled in. I made that look good. So that's card number one. Okay. Card number two. This is so funny. Um, I made these cards, made the kits to do the video, and let's keep it real, right? <laughs> the colors in this paper are, as I said a little while ago, Blackberry Bliss. Made these cards, pulled out my blends, did everything, and then all of a sudden, when I was getting ready to film this, I went, that's not Blackberry Bliss. That's Rich Razzleberry. But you know what? I like how it looks. This one to me sort of tends into being a little bit fall. I think it still goes well together. It's one of those happy accidents, we'll call it. All right? So this one I did uh, put a sentiment inside. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. And again, we'll have the matching envelope. So let's pull this one in. You could do this in Rich Razzleberry or Blackberry Bliss, your choice. Again, the inside brings in that paper um, to take that through to the inside. The outside, again, all the dimensions will be in the blog below. So we're gonna start with Daffodil Delight and a piece of DSP that's cut that eighth of an inch smaller. And get this glued down. These are um, actually five and an eighth by three and seven eighths and five by three and a quarter. And then I have a one inch piece that I'm going to put on the side again of that coordinating DSP. Okay, we'll glue this down. This one has the little bigger lip than this one did. So different sizes on the inside. Okay, so there we have that. And then I did, this time I used the Stally Shapes, the largest square. It's about a three inch square. But I wanted something to set it apart. Um, so I took and cut a two inch square from Old Olive and a two inch square from Daffodil Delight and then cut them both on the diagonal. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer these and make that double layer on the corners here. Do the same thing on this one. Now, before I glue this down, I'll just show you. I did take a light Daffodil Delight pen to sort of color the windows. I didn't color them solid, just slightly. And then I went over it with the um, color lifter. So it, it's a light sunshine coming through the window. All right, so now I'm going to just put some glue here in this corner and we'll line that up. Again, do it on the bottom corner. We'll bring this one in. Those look about even. So now I'm gonna bring in dimensionals again for the back of this. Up, oh, that piece came right off <laughs> the edge with it. I'm just gonna put that right down the middle. No sense in wasting any. Of our dimensional pages. Use the insides, the outsides. Lot of dimensionals, yes. 
they won't collapse. 90 some percent of my cards go in the mail. So I wanna make sure that holds up. Something stuck under that one. I'll get rid of that one. It's given me a hard time. A little piece got stuck underneath. Okay. There we go. Still waiting for my nails to grow back. A couple months ago I did a had a gel manicure done and removing that stuff destroyed them. Someday I hope they grow back. All right. There we go. We got all of that off. We're just going to put this right in the center here. And then for this card, I pulled in the Glossy Dots assortment. This has some Daffodil Delight gems that I wanted to use on this one. In here and put a couple of those on. And again, I'm going to decorate the outer envelope. I tried to use both papers, so I took the dark one inside, and then on the envelope, I'm using the flowers. So again, that's cut two and a quarter by six. up to the edge having trouble seeing the edge today there we go and then just trim that off so we're in September hard to believe kids are back in school depending on where you live Fall is right around the corner. I'm in the northeast. Um, I'm in Pennsylvania, and my favorite season is fall. So that's sort of what these colors remind me of. All right, card number two. Let's look at card number three. This one has a lot more of the designer series paper in the background, so I went with the white card base left this one blank inside till I decide what I want to write in that for the recipient. And again, we did the envelope. So for this one, let me pull in the kit. I have my card base and I even put the insert in already. Now there are times, this is basic white thick cardstock, but you'll notice this time I did put a layer inside. This front layer, can be a little heavy with what we're putting on the front and sometimes the back to me feels flimsy. So when that's the case, if this has a lot of layers on it, then I will put an extra layer in here to try to keep them pretty even. So I already did the envelope for this one so you don't have to watch me cut that again. But let's work on the card base. I want Again, I'm cutting this black piece an eighth of an inch smaller, so it's like five and three eighths by four and an eighth. But I want these to be smaller. My DSP, again, I want them to be that eighth of an inch smaller. But I didn't wanna to try to square them up, so I have just a piece of plain copy paper here, and I have my pieces. Um, I'm changing the top one a little bit on this one. These, this is cut five and a half by uh, four and a quarter, the size of the card front. And so are all my, pe my pieces are cut, looks like five and a quarter. So what I'm going to do is I am going to glue these onto this paper. That way I know I get them square on here and then I'll trim this down to the size I want. So that's, I think that first piece I put on there. Again, these will all be in the, the coordinating blog below. That's a two inch piece. I think this is 
three quarters of an inch. So I'll get that in there. And then this bottom one's I think an inch and a half. Now though, what I'm going to do, since I have these, I am going to trim this down to five and a quarter, and I'm gonna take a little bit off of each side. So it's square, five and a quarter, and then it's gonna be by four. So I'm just gonna take an eighth of an inch. Well, let's see where I'm at here. So I'm going to take an eighth of an inch off of each side. So it comes up to five and a quarter by four. So now that's all squared up for me. And then I can place this on top of here and have that little bit of black showing. So that just held all my pieces together and made sure all my edges were even. There we go. And now, whoop, I forgot to put this one on here. So let me trim this down to four inches. And this one I think was um, one and three quarters. Eight. Again, Please just look at the coordinating blog if you need to know for sure. Um, sometimes I don't remember them, but I do put them in the blog. And then this one again, I colored. I cut this out of the layering circles. I use this, you can use the circle that fits your image. I ended up using the largest scallop and the largest circle and then coloring it again in those same colors. Um, and then I also took my um, Signa, Signa pen, white, and put some little highlights on the dog and some writing on the book to look like the title. Okay, so we'll put some dimensionals on this one. use up another paper here okay so I think I've done several videos now I do like to color and I like to color with all the different mediums we've done the colored pencils the blends and I can't say that there's any one or my favorite I think they all have their places we are and then we're going to put this on our card base but I'd be interesting to know what's your favorite way to color when you're filling in stamps like these ones there we go card three now this one I decided to bring in the pearls and I colored them with the Blackberry Bliss uh, Dark Blend. I like that you can color these if I can pick them up. And we're gonna put these on here. I think that's one of the things that's great about stamping up is they take all the guesswork out of it for coloring and matching because we have the colored pencils, we have the Stampin' Right markers, the blends, and they all color coordinate. So they spoil me. That's all I'll say. <laughs> so here we go. This is this week's cards. Let me get some junk out of here. Move that. 
in the moment with design a dream hostess paper and we did the matching envelopes i hope you enjoyed these this week now i do want to let you know that next week um i will not be posting a new video i am going on vacation again and um so I would just really like to enjoy that time away. And so I will be back with another a new video in two weeks from today or two weeks. Yes, two weeks from the day this goes live. So I try to do them every Wednesday, but I'm going to be skipping one this month. So I would appreciate if you would give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you have any questions on any of the products I used or you need a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you with that. And as always, I truly appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my videos. Have a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.